Greetings After Effects folks, quick demonstration of the time expression. I'm going to make a shape, I'm going to make a circle, and just drag this out, hold down shift to keep it circular, okay, right, so I'm going to make this into a cog, so I'm just going to open up the uh, contents here, I'm going to add a stroke to this, so let's increase the stroke width there, Whoa, look at that, okay. And then I'm going to add dashes. So turn it into dashes and just have bigger dashes. There we go. So I'm kind of like, okay, I don't want. So I'm just getting it so it's kind of like a cog. Okay, and then. I'm going to just where it says fill for the main fill, I'm going to have it so it's above. So we've got some little cogs there. Okay, so we've created a shape layer. I'll just maybe increase the stroke width a little bit, make the cogs a little bigger. Okay, and on that shape layer, just go and close that stroke now. Fill. I'm going to go to transform. I'm not going to do the transform on the layer because the rotation. Uh, you know, I could center the anchor point, but I can simply go to the transform for the shape itself and alt click on rotation. I'm going to type in time multiplied by a number, the number being the amount of degrees each second it's going to change. So I'm going to type in time times 50. So it's going to have a nice rotation. And I'm going to duplicate that layer and press EE to see my expression and change the plus 50 to a minus 50. So I've got one layer going backwards. It's quite cool in itself. And then just take this second layer and move it. So it kind of sits in between the other layers. And we have ourselves some cogs. Really quick and easy. Okay, happy After Effects in.